I gotta say, Hola. I ha have to quickly say from the vez en cuando to burro to seeing you on stage for an Academy Award when with Coda when they won. Uh -huh. You are one of my heroes, and thank you for everything you've done in the entertainment industry. It's meant so much for me and my family. Oh, Manny, thank you for your kind words. You really touched my heart. Thank you very much. Thank you. I feel very privileged now to be able to talk to you about uh, Radical. It's ama an amazing movie where you play uh, Sergio. Uh, what did you want to make sure came through for the character in the movie? Well, um, many things. Uh, first of all, I wanted to... Uh, when I moved to this country and I started working here, I promised myself that I would like to to change the the way they see Latinos in in Hollywood, because you know constantly every time they they wanted like a we need a gang member call a Latino we need a criminal call a Latino we need a narco call a Latino, and I wanted to change that narrative. Um, I always promised myself that I was going to be able to to produce one day. I want to to tell a different kind of stories and, and, and to play Latinos in a positive way. And that's what I've been doing. And when I learned about Radical, I, I, it was like the perfect. This is in my wheelhouse. I mean, it's a story about, I, I mean, we, it's, a, it's a raw movie. It's really tough. It's raw. We're not hiding anything. There's a reality. There's a, there's a lot of violence in, in, in my country, yes. But on the other hand, we also have people like Sergio. There are. They, I, I'm always joking that this is a, the first Mexican superhero movie, uh, <laughs> but just uh, with a real guy. He's a, he's a real superhero, and he's in, today he's in Matamoros teaching kids in sixth grade still. So this is the kind of story that I would like to tell the world about my country. What was it also working with so many, so many of these young kids? Because I, I was talking with Chris earlier. He told me, no, these weren't actors. These are, these are kids. These, they, that's their personalities coming through. What was that like? It was very interesting. I, I, well, first of all, Chris didn't want professional actors. So uh, we chose kids that didn't have experience. Uh, Nico was her first contact with acting in, in his life. Uh, he was not even interested in acting. And and the others uh, were like barely had, you know, like a commercial or, or two, but no more than that. So it was really refreshing. And uh, and it was a, a, a lot of a lot of work for Chris and I. Uh, I had to connect with them. I had to to be a kid 24 seven in order to connect with them. It's more the, the work you do off screen than the work you do on screen because you have to be playing with them constantly uh, in order to connect uh, really deep with them. But we got there. I remember the last day of shooting, we were all crying and we couldn't, we couldn't record the scene because the kids were crying and crying. They couldn't stop. And when that happened, I, I realized I did a, a, a good job off screen because we really connected. And you can tell when you see the movie. Yeah, you guys were fabulous together. And, you know, one relationship I really loved in the film was between you and Daniel. Uh, I mean, you, you guys worked so well together and I, and seeing your guys' relationship develop was so great. How, how was that? I I saw him doing comedy uh, on online. And I, I was thought this guy is genius. I mean, he's amazing. I, 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 I want to work with him. But I, you know, you never know. <laughs> there are, there were. Uh, I don't know if I should say this, but there were a couple of other characters that I didn't connect at all with them, at all. Uh, but it was good for the for the movie. Uh, but for some reason, Daniel, he's like a like a you know like a. A bear, like a un oso de peluche, you know, <laughs> a stuffed bear. Uh, you want to hug him every time you see him. He's lovable, and 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 we did, we had a, a an amazing chemistry and, and a good relationship on set. It's so funny you mentioned it. that's exactly how Christopher def uh, described him as a giant teddy bear. <laughs> really? <I knew. laughs> yes, <laughs> that's exactly well, what he, he said. He looks like a teddy bear. Yeah. <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, so Henio, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate every moment I've just spent with you. Hopefully I get to speak with you again on a future project. Um, and again, thank you all for all you do. And uh, Thank you, Manny. And keep watching my shows, please. Oh, of course, of course. <laughs> it's a must. <laughs>